Hello and welcome to another screencast. Today I'll be showing you how to install XAMPP on Windows 7. I have done a video on this before, however I'm going to show you the how to install the latest version of XAMPP on Windows 7. To do so you want to simply go to your internet browser and you want to um, go to apachefriends.org and once you're on, your, on their website you would want to go to XAMPP and you want to choose, you can choose for different operating systems however we're going to choose XAMPP for Windows and once you're here if you scroll down you will see multiple download solutions here and the one that we want to download is the first one here that says XAMPP. Once you do that it'll bring you down to an, a different page XAMPP for Windows 1.7.7 and here you have three more options you have the installer zip and 7-zip. For this video tutorial we're going to choose the installer method. This, is, this will be the .exe executive uh, file and this will allow you to install uh, it much easier than having to unzip the folder. So what you want to do is download this file and put it in your downloads folder or your desktop or wherever you save your files. Uh, save it there and I actually already have this saved in um, a folder on my computer which is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel here and when you're done you can close out or go back to the XAMPP website. Uh, once you've got that you can minimize your browser and locate, you want to navigate to that file where you saved it and I saved it on my H drive right here. So once you've found the file you want to go ahead and click on it and the screen may go black, that's okay. It'll come up with a message saying do you want to allow the program and you'll say yes. Here we can close out of that and here you want to select uh, language and for this purpose there's only two languages English and um, Deutsch and so what you want to do is click OK and this is going to come up basically because the UAC on the system functions some will be restricted um, it, it is not recommended to deactivate the UAC but if you feel that you want to do that you can I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it'll bring you up to the installation wizard here and what we're going to do is click next we're going to choose the folder that we want to install this on and as you can see space required is 485 megabytes space available on this hard drive is only 16 so what we're going to do is I'm going to browse to my second hard drive which is my H drive and choose that folder. However, you can um, install this on your C drive um, as well. It's recommended that you install it on your C drive, but since I have a hard drive on here that is only 90 gigs, it's uh, best for me to put it on my secondary hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And on here, um, you want to uh, make sure that the if you want a desktop icon um, create an Apache folder in the start menu um, <clears throat> this is an option you can check it or uncheck it and the service selection um, we want to go ahead and check those two um, as a service so once you do that you can go ahead and click install and what it's going to do is, depending on your computer speed, um, your computer uh, and your components or hardware, it will um, only it'll take a few minutes since um, my hard drive is uh, pretty new. It's a newer hard drive; it uh, shouldn't take as long. So once this completes, mm, okay. Now what you'll see is that uh, MDOS screen came up but it went away that's okay um, basically 
it's finished and then it's installed and I'm going to go ahead and click finish and as you see the MDOL screen came up again this is okay this is normal um, this is just letting you know um, that it's starting the service and um, the service installation is finished um, you can use the XAMPP control panel to manage services so we'll click OK it says congratulations the installation was successful and it's a start the exam and we'll say yes so as you can see it installed an icon on our desktop and over here is the control panel application as you can see the services that we checked were Apache and MySQL they are running these are the two that are required in order to have the localhost server installed um, on the machine so that you can install like WordPress and Joomla once you have that you can simply minimize that then you want to go back to your browser and in here you want to type localhost slash xamp you should be welcomed with this screen if you do not get this screen uh, something may have gone, ro gone wrong during installation and the best thing I would tell you to do is uninstall XAMPP and reinstall. Uh, that's a simple solution that way uh, you don't have to worry about messing anything with the computer settings and end up messing, your, messing up your computer. So once you've reached this splash page um, on localhost, localhost is basically the um, it's turning your computer into a server locally this means that no one else can access the server except for you you can however set it up to be accessed by the whole world however I do not recommend that unless you have very good uh, software antivirus protection so what you want to do is I'm going to choose my language here and I'm going to choose English and you'll see it'll bring you to the index page or the home page for XAMPP for Windows and in here you can see uh, you can see PHP access PHP my admin right from the um, disk here and for some reason this is in German and we're going to change it to English so I'm not sure exactly why this is in German um, I did not choose German for my language but um, that's kind of PHP my admin um, I will have another video fix on this uh, hopefully later on once I figure this out so once you um, once you've done that you basically can um, you know check the status um, of XAMPP and you can see that uh, the, the services are activated. Um, security, don't have to really worry about this too much um, because it's not accessed by everyone um, in the in the in the in the world. So that that's okay for that part. Um, there's different. Um, Mercury Mail and FTP setup that you can do, um, and different uh, different things you can uh, different uh, examples here of PHP like PhoneBook. Um, you, know, you can test it out, uh, show source code, so you can use this in a in a website um, on on XAMPP. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you um, enjoyed, and thanks for watching.